In this video, I am going to be instructing how to create a votive candle holder in one shape. You will have subtraction extru ex extrusions for the votive candles. You will have an angle at the base and you will have cutouts that we will ultimately make feet that will slide in there. Now, when I say the foot, it is uh, truly a rectangular foot. It's not going to look like our feet. We're not going to have a you know a candle holder that walks or anything like that so let's go ahead and get started um, we are going to get started by creating a sketch well maybe i'll just show you guys this whole process so i'm going to go up on one shape and i am going to make a new document and this is going to be candle holder demo and for this project you are going to be using a one by four and we are going to develop this actually in our top view um, if you had materials and processing one with me you are used to building in front view but we are actually going to start in top view so we're going to make a new sketch on the top view and view normal to the sketch plane we are going to be using a one by four for this. So we're going to take a rectangle. And um, in terms of the length, so we will be securing material uh, somewhat from the scrap bin in the classroom. So for my demonstration, I'm doing 10 and a half. And although I've went ahead and only specified the length, I do need to go in and manually input the height of the object. It is a one by four, so it is three and a half inches in height. And this is my sketch once. I'm gonna finalize that and I'm going to go ahead and extrude it. So extruding the space is going to be a depth of 0.75 because that is the accurate dimensions or the actual dimensions of a one by four. And I like to always switch to isometric view to see that I have it proper. For our next step, we are going to be doing our sketch for the votive candle itself, the pieces that we will do a subtraction extrusion on that will hold our candles. So on our top plane again, we are going to be making a new sketch. And I feel that it's easiest if we view normal to sketch plane. So depending on the length of boards that you have is going to depend on how many candles your board holds. Um, Ideally, we want anywhere from, from two to six, probably. I'm gonna do an example with three. So my first one, I know I want to be in the center. So I'm gonna use my line tool and I'm gonna find the center point. So this line with a circle that you see pop up on my screen, that's a constraint that tells me that that is the center point. And then I'm going to find the center of that point and draw my circle. Now we need to talk about what diameter that is going to be. And the candles that I plan to secure for you are going to have a diameter um, right about a half inch, but we wanna make sure that there's plenty of room for it to go in. So we are going to dimension these to a diameter of one and five eighths, which is 1.625. Now you need to space out your others, your other circles appropriately. So I have, let's see, this was 10 and a half inches. So I have five and a quarter left. So if I were to center that, it puts me at two and five eighths. Um, I'm going to draw that and see if I like the looks at it. So one of the pieces that's different in materials and processing too, you're becoming a little more of a designer. So we want to make items look visually appealing. So I am going to do a line from my center point, maybe center point. This, oh, I was on the wrong tool. I was on my dimensioning tool. My line tool, center to center. Use my line tool again because I want to see that center point. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stick a circle there and see visually what that looks like. So again, this is going to be five eighths. Um, so let's talk about a lot of times I do use decimals when I'm working in on shape, but you can use fractions. So one hyphen five divided by eight. Well, or not. One hyphen five divided by eight. All right, well, let me do a little research, maybe something updated or I'm forgetting something. All right, research done. So here we go. I'm going to put my circle in and instead of using decimals this time, I'm going to show you how to use the fraction. So we want one and five eighths. So it's one plus five divided by eight. one plus five divided by eight. And that'll dimension it to five eighths. Um, so I just want to take a dimension from here to here. I'm at two and five eighths. I don't think that that looks too close because I got to remember there's going to be an angle cut over here. So I think I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my circle on the other side. I'm going to draw a line out this way. I'm going to go back to my circle tool. Find my center point. Remember, that's the symbol for center point. 1.625 or 1 plus 5 eighths. So I now have my circles and it is time to finish the sketch and we are ready to extrude the circles. Now I do find that sometimes it's easier to extrude an isometric view. And we are going to extrude down a half inch. So we are removing. Um, so the construction lines that I drew, which at, weren't actually construction lines, they were two lines, you can see they're making me want to extrude in pieces. So I am going to go back to sketch two and make some edits. I'm going to get rid of these lines. So I'm just selecting them and using the delete key on my keyboard. So now when I extrude, I'm going to flip that to a remove and my depth is 0.5. All right, I'm now on to step three, which is going to be the bevel or the angle that is cut on the side. And I'm actually going to do that sketch in on the front so that's the one that I have highlighted on the screen right now. So I'm going to right click, new sketch, view normal to sketch plane. And essentially I'm cutting off this material and I wanna take off half of the distance. So this is three quarters of an inch thick. So it's going to be three eighths. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna find my center point. And I'm going to come down to here. Now I'm going to dimension. So from here to here, I want this to be 3 eighths, so 0.375 or 3 backslash 8. I will show you how to do fractions on the other side. And then you're going to take the line tool and you're going to make a closed shape. And you'll see then how this extrusion will work. I'm going to come to my other side, find my center point, drag down. I'm going to come back. I'm going to dimension from here to here. And I want this to be 3 eighths, 3 backslash 8 if you prefer to enter it in fractions. I'm going to use my line tool to make those connections. And I am now ready to extrude. I'm going to extrude here and here, and I want to remove that. And the depth that I am removing, that board is three and a half inches. So I'm removing all that material. And again, I like to view it in isometric just to make sure that it truly removed everything as I intended. 
So we're moving along nicely. Next, we are going to do the cutout for where the feet will go into. All right, so we're going to put those feet in on the bottom or the slots for the feet. So here's where I'm creating my new sketch and view normal to sketch plane. And depending on the, whoa, depending on the size of your, the length of your board is maybe going to depend on where you're going to place these cutouts. Um, I'm just going to start drawing those in. So it's going to be a full rectangle, and the width of that rectangle is going to be three quarters of an inch. Um, and now I'm going to play with the placement. I'm going to start just by trying an inch and seeing how that looks. Um, I think I like the looks at it. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's cut out. I'm going to come to the other side. It automatically did my height of three and a half because of the way I was using the rectangle tool. And now I'm placing the whole rectangle. And again, I want that offset to be an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and extrude those. And I guess I'm gonna go with an extrusion of 3 16 of an inch. And some of you may say, you know, how did I arrive at that number? Well, I arrived at that number because if I did a quarter inch, it would, and that in my circle extrusion, I would see light through it. But I felt that an eighth inch wasn't quite enough. So I chose three sixteenths of an inch. And I think I'm good with, with that distance. I think that will work nicely. We have the hardest part done. That's where we're going to end this video and we will pick up in another video.